Detectives from the Montgomery County Police Major Crimes Division have arrested a suspect for killing Mr. Punyasara Vikramanayaka. Suspect was identified as Rohan Jerome Goodlett. 35-year-old Goodlett is currently being held at the Correctional Facility in Clarksburg, Maryland. He will be charged for killing 41-year-old Mr. Vikramanayaka and 81-year-old Mr. Nazir Ahmed. On Monday, March 21, approximately 4.19 p.m., Montgomery police officers responded to the report of possible gunshots heard in the 3,400 block of North High Street. Officers found Punyasara unresponsive outside a residence and near the roadway suffering from an apparent gunshot wound and was transported to an area hospital for treatment. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. We now join with Captain Paul Starks of Montgomery Police Department. Uh, Captain Starks, I understand that uh, you have apprehended the suspect. Could you please give us an update? Well, yeah. What's, um, he was arrested. He was charged with uh, homicide. Two counts because he had killed someone uh, um, at the end of the week before. And um, um, he's being held without bond in the jail until... Um, trial. Punyasara was walking home from his job at the subway when the shooting occurred. Punyasara moved to USA six months ago with his wife Naina after winning the green card lottery. According to Naina, their main intention was to settle down in this land of opportunity in order to help their family members in need back home. At the time of his death, Punyasara was preparing for the heating and air conditioning technician's license exam. He was living with his wife Naina at their relative Mr. Cyril Rajapaksa's home when this tragedy happened. Mr. Cyril Rajapaksa joins us on phone from his home in Olney, Maryland. Uh, Mr. Rajapaksa, I know this has been a very difficult time for you all. How are you all coping? Well, it's still that uh, all the family back in Sri Lanka, they look like they're still shocked. So they don't know what happened or anything. So still they are so sad and very shocked. So they're trying to, they at, at least they couldn't see him in like a little while. So they are still shocked. Still, I don't know why he did that gun to him. So that's what I just, uh, I just want to find out why he did that one to him. So. So at that point, I'm trying to, I mean, just we talk with all the people around, you know, that you are detective and, and all the people. So this, that's what I just want to find out, why he did that kind of thing. He's such, he's such a nice, innocent guy. So I just want to find out that. Mr. Rajapaksa's daughter, Indunil, has been with Naira during these difficult times, consoling and giving her emotional comfort and we now join with Indunil. Uh, first of all, Indunil, please convey our sympathies to Naina. And now, Indunil, uh, we know that the Sri Lankan community has been very supportive to Naina and all the loved ones of Punyasara at this time. Um, I'm sure that has been a comfort and a strength to you all. You know, people, Sri Lankan people, they have been coming to our house, you know, all through the day and they've been coming in and talking to us again. You know, telling her, and, you know, trying to give her some, some, some help, you know, emotionally and even you know, financially. And, you know, I really think it helps because, I mean, we're in a country so far away and when you have, you know, your people to help each other out, you know, that's a great strength. And, you know, I really think it helps her because you can just talk about it with other people and, you know, she, you know, she can, you know, count on some other people because she knows, you know, they're all with you help from as prosecutors laid out their case against Goodlett, there was no motive mentioned for the murder of Punyasara Vikramanayaka. Punyasara was seemingly gunned down for no reason as he walked home from his job at Subway. During a news conference Wednesday, State's Attorney John McCarthy said Goodlett had previously been found not competent to stand trial. Washington Buddhist Vihara has been playing a key role in coordinating the Sri Lankan community to provide support to the Vikramanayaka family and relatives. 
Venerable Maharagama Dhammasiri, President of the Washington Buddhist Vihara, joins us from Maryland. Venerable Dhammasiri, we understand that although Vikramanayaka family came to the United States six months ago, they have been very involved with the temple. Could you please uh, tell us a little bit about Punyasara and also share some of your thoughts on this tragedy? Uh, sure. Um, this uh, young man, uh, Punyasara Vikramanayaka, uh, he came along with his wife to the temple, uh, guided by uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sajapaksha, um, his uncle and their uncle and uh, auntie. And um, about six months ago, this happened. I mean, they arrived at the temple. Uh, so right after arrival, uh, they came to the temple, and they were uh, very friendly and uh, very helpful, helpful uh, at the, in the activities of the Washington Buddhist Vihara. Uh, for the past six months, they have been in this country for the past six months. Uh, they have been a very loving and caring couple. Um, they, whenever they came to the temple, they offered to assist in anything uh, in the temple. Um, so, uh, in the past six months, they didn't have a job. And uh, only last week, uh, he got a job, a small job in a subway. And then um, last Sunday, uh, he came to the temple and uh, uh, he offered uh, his and his wife's uh, help in the Asian food festival we had last Sunday. And uh, they were working so hard from the early morning to the evening of the day uh, to make it a success. I liked it, like, it was at the best. Just me and my wife. Don't run away from me. <laughs> I only met him once. He arrived here about six months ago on uh, winning a lottery green card, and uh, he was looking for the, uh, what America had to offer, but I'm, I'm sure this was not part of his, uh, his dream of what America had to offer. Uh, the specialty um, in this young man was uh, he was able to make everybody uh, friendly, and uh, um, at the first sight, first meeting, everybody wanted his telephone number and to associate him with him. And uh, they were loved by everybody. He was a very, very innocent, uh, hardworking young man. He uh, is very... Uh, uh, Grateful person. Um, we don't have to be angry about the killer because uh, he was uh, a man with uh, uh, no sense. I mean, uh, he's mentally not fit. This and um, so we have to be compassionate to him too. And uh, this is a, a big loss to our temple and. Uh, Sri Lankan community in the Washington metropolitan area. Uh, we wish him uh, ultimate peace, Nibbana. And meanwhile, um, his uh, wife is uh, left alone. Um, so it is the, I, I feel it is the duty of uh, or responsibility of the Sri Lankan community living in America uh, to help. Uh, them uh, financially or if they can uh, send uh, some money uh, uh, amount of the money you send uh, doesn't matter but uh, joining this effort uh, is what matters Sri Lankan community in Maryland area have come together to support the family emotionally and financially according to Mr. Upali Pereira president of the Ranga Kala Kavya in Washington DC in a spontaneous act of generosity, their members have collected $1,700 on one day and they expect many more to contribute. Ambassador Jalia Vikramasurya also sent a special appeal to all Sri Lankans 
in USA to support the family at this time of their need. <laughs> This is a special report from Boston, Lanka. I'm Vioni Dimel. Bye for now.